what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here i go by empress gem i drop the jewels this will be the february 2021 energy read for our taurus any placement how it falls in your chart guys okay general message take what's for you leave the rest behind any event continue to show your gut at love and support like comment share and subscribe all right so taurus um what are you trying to prove like i feel to a degree like meditating on your energy and shuffling through your decks it was just like you don't even want <laughs> the option of whatever this is in front of you like you want something new okay but it's just i don't know if you feel like you deserve to have i'm getting some of you guys like a greed feeling like you feel like you're i'm not giving that up because it's mine type of feel but it's like come on like is it really worth it that much like I feel that you're beating yourself up trying to hold on to an idea or a concept or a job or a person or something. You're holding on to an energy that is beating you up and it is taking away your power. Like you're giving your power away to something that you don't need to give your power to. And the spirit really needs you to reclaim your energy here. I feel like you want to rush, like you don't want to give up what you have because you feel like you're going to go without and understand that. The universe will give you what you need, okay? But I feel like whatever it is you're dealing with right now is not what you need. And you need to let it go because there is no, like, there's no fulfillment there, okay? Like, at all. Like, you're beating yourself up a lot. And I feel like you're building up this sort of anxiety and you're going to snap. Or someone's going to snap. Something is going to blow up viciously, like... Instead of just understanding that it's probably time to let something go. All right. So, Spirit, as we open up for our lovely Taurus, what is the message y'all got? So I'm going to take the one that is faced down. How about that? <laughs> okay. Gratitude. <laughs> Today, I'm grateful for all the little things. Even when the big things suck, there are always plenty of little things I can be at least a little grateful for. Like hot showers and music. And the fact that humans invented an internet. And I'm allowed to use it whenever I want to, using thumbs and fingers to do whatever I think them to do at any given moment. So, yeah, it's like be thankful for the things that you have, the time that you spent, the memories that you made, the moments that you have to cherish. OK. One second, guys. All right, Taurus, where were we? Uh, yes, we was talking about being grateful for what it is that you have, ideally. And, um, yeah, something could be blowing up, <laughs> things of that nature. But underneath the deck, you know, to, to move us along, okay, you had generosity. So giving to those around you, giving to yourself, okay. Um, yeah, because you're giving away a lot of your power into a situation that you just need to let bygones be bygones about, okay? Thank you, spirit. Because it's like, pull you back in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? Protect your light. Protect your visions. Okay? I feel like some really nasty words may get ready to be said. Okay? Yeah, you have to try to be the bigger person. Or you just have to... For some of you guys, you're going to have to appreciate what is being said because some of you guys are going to hear some blunt truths that you may not want to hear. And it is what it is. Um, be thankful that somebody actually came forward and said what, it said what they said. At least you now know, okay, and know where to put your investments in. Like I said, there's a feeling of a lack of fulfillment and wanting something new here. But I feel like the way that this is about to go about, because there's like a power struggle, a power dominance that's going on. Where it's like somebody doesn't really want to release because they feel like they work too hard and they want to keep something going on. Or they just feel like, you know, I'll release this when I'm ready to release. But it's like, no, you can't have something new because I feel like whoever doesn't want to let go, you, you kind of like you don't even want it. Like you're just holding on, like you're that stingy ass kid in the playground who just holds on to like all the toys. And it's like you can't play with them all like you need to share, like share. OK, let it share. Yeah, share. Let it go. Be thankful that you enjoyed your time. You had your moment with it and let it go. OK, but <laughs> Apophyllite is your stone. Beam yourself up like way up all the way up. OK, 
you have accomplished what it is that you need or want to do. Like, be grateful for the memories, the moments, you know, what you were able to give and receive out of the situation and let it go and move on because you're not even fulfilled, okay? So who needs it? Anyone looking for that ray of light from a high to hit them with something good? When do you use it? When the spiritual life feels like a moving target. When you feel skeptical about your true purpose on earth. When you feel like your yeah, but thoughts are dishonoring the innermost you. Like I said, okay? You feel like, no, this is what I'm supposed to have this. No, this may not be your, this is not your purpose anymore. It's not fulfilling you. It's not true to you. Let it go. Like, seriously, with this garnet underneath the deck, get into your depth. Like, seriously, like, some of you ain't even doing it like that. Some of y'all need to get, get laid, pent up, sexual frustration. Seriously, like, don't do this. Yeah, you're deceiving yourself. There could even be deception in your situation of whatever this is. Yeah, you're deceiving yourself out of true wish fulfillment. You are deceiving yourself and someone else. I feel like you guys want to be more focused on your money, and that's what you should do, okay? Um, you definitely need to go within yourself. And like I said, with the sacral chakra showing up, some of you guys definitely need to go and get laid, okay? You probably already had a little thing thing on the side already if you were coupled up with somebody. Go and get you some, okay? But spirit is saying that one. Look at that. The love begins. Ace of Cups again. But you're having a hard time allowing yourself to get past the obstacles and challenges that are currently in front of you so that you can get to this new love, so that you can pour into something new with someone who wants to pour in with you. I feel like whatever connection, whatever this energy is, because it could be a job. Maybe you and a job are literally tired of each other. And you want to do something new. You're tired of the field you work in. And you keep butting heads well, no matter what place of employment you go to. Like, you're looking for new connections. For something that is fulfilling to you. And you are... Like I said, I really feel like a lot of you guys are holding on to things that is blocking you from getting to what your true heart's desires is. And it could be greed, like I said. OK, you guys are focused on what you've already accomplished in a situation and you don't want to let it go. But come on, you have to have the strength to let it go. If you want something fulfilling, you have to let you have to let it go. It's not serving you. You can't keep everything. OK, you will be protected as you go through this, but you need to let this go. Stop. You want something. It's like money for love or money. Like, you went after something for money, and now you realize you want love because there ain't no love in the situation, okay? You don't love it. It just paid nice or it looked nice, you know? But it didn't feel good, okay? And it ain't feeling good no more. So, Taurus, could be done with a water sign, kiss a Scorpio, Pisces, or, you know, this is this is your energy, okay? You wanting to... Love on yourself. Be more loving and nurturing. Okay, you want love. You want somebody to love on you. Okay, some of you could be mothers. Okay, you could be dealing with a co-parenting situation. Some of you guys could be in your feelings now. I feel like some of you guys could want to be mothers now, but it's like the what you're who you're dealing with. You know, if that's the case, they're like, no, I'm not ready. I want to focus on money, and you're just like, but what about a family? Okay. And it's just like, nah, they're not there. Cross watchers, I know y'all be up in here because y'all look for them love messages. So this could even be y'all feeling this way about Taurus, you know, because you want love to begin. But this is what the main energy is about. It's about pouring in love equally into a situation, having a new beginning here. And this is where you need to have the energy within yourself to be more loving and be more nurturing and be caring, okay? Some of you guys could be pregnant. Or like I said, wanting to become pregnant. I feel like in the past energy here, you could have been dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Or Taurus, this is definitely you. Sitting independent in your, in your shiz naive. Because I'm trying not to curse in my videos. <laughs> but sitting comfortable in your shit. All right. Very independent. Making your money. Staying focused in the bag. Okay. Feeling like you don't need anybody for anything. Okay, I'm feeling tyrant type of energy. Focus on your gains. No matter who had to hurt. Okay. That's why this is a challenge. I feel like you've 
burnt some bridges in the past or you've hurt some people on your like as you were striving to get to the top you push down people greed and these are the same people that you now are expecting to come and pour into you and love on you I also feel for some of you guys, you were single in the past, and now you're ready to, like, start a family. You want love. You want something real, okay? Like, real talk. What's coming towards you is an uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who bought that action. Somebody also could be coming in with some very quick communication. may not be harsh. It may. Um, it may be something you may not want to hear. Okay, they're definitely probably coming in this season. Okay, this is future energy coming towards you, and future could play out however the hell it needs to play out because we know in tarot this is timeless, it's fluid, time is fluid. So, but somebody is coming in, they're about that action, they want to take action. Okay, also feel that you may have some jealous people that may be coming in, somebody who wants to shine above you. All right. Somebody does want to come in and express how they feel the things that have been on their mind in regards to the situation. This could help clear out these obstacles and challenges that you may be facing. Um, like I said, there's also a heated discussion that's coming in for some of you guys. Because for some of you, something is ending. Okay, And this past energy, you could have been acting like you were single and you weren't. Okay, and now you want to be loved on, and I feel like you're a person because we got feminine energy and a masculine. Okay, I feel like feminine energy could have been out here acting like they were single in the past. Okay, the energy of being single and independent, like, no, I'm focused on becoming the empress and having my own bag and my own this. And now in the future, I feel like you're masculine energy because now you're like, oh, let's have a family, let's do this. And they're like, no. Like, when I was about that life, you weren't about that life. You were out here trying to be single and live single. That's for that love portion for you guys who are looking for it. I also feel like if this could even go job way, if you were like flip flopping between jobs, okay? Or if you felt like, you know, you were like a boss, a baby boss, bitch. Male or female, whatever. How, we all got masculine and feminine, whatever. Rock with me, guys. But I feel that with the energy there, like, you was trying to be like you was like big hot shot and somebody just came, somebody's coming in to like right the wrongs or like correct the energy. I'm hearing, okay? Somebody with a lot of authority or their words are sharp and their words mean something. What they say is true, okay? And what they're going to say to you is true. Your advice here is to stay driven and motivated, okay? And go towards what it is that you want to go towards, okay? Um, do stand up for yourself. Aries, Leo, Sag. Aries, heavy Aries, okay? Do set those boundaries. Stand up for yourself. Um, but again, this dude, he's coming in with this fire and he on his horse, but this guy's coming in with two knives. So be very cautious on how you try to bite back on this person. Okay. Cause I feel like this person's also very good with their words and they could knock your passion, like your insight down and really like really blow you up. You need to come from a space of love, but still put your foot down. Okay. Be understanding in the situation and have the the inner ability to move forward with your head held high in this Queen of Cups energy, okay? Despite what they come in and they say, you're going to want to get pissed off. Be grateful for the situation. We need to keep that in mind, too. It's about gratitude. Be grateful for what it is or what you received out of the situation because I feel like they're going to tell you about yourself, especially about how you were in the past, okay, and remind you why you guys or why the situation is how it is right now okay the blockage yeah you need to stand your ground you need to understand that this is what it is where this is what's blocked like that's what blocked it okay you need to stand your ground also to what this person has to stay and not allow yourself to feel less than okay I'm also feeling for some of you guys, you need to not, like, don't block somebody else's victory because you have your own, okay? Go towards your own. I feel like what you trying to hold on is going back to trying to hold on to something that is not fulfilling you. You're blocking somebody else's victory. You don't want to see somebody else be victorious, but you're also blocking your own blessing, 
okay? Stay poised in the situation. And just let bygones be bygones. Bow out with grace. Your outcome, yeah, it's going to hurt like how. It could have been third party. Like I said, definitely could have been on your end. Somebody was acting single in the past. And that sh stuff is coming out in the love situation. Or somebody was just acting like they was too independent and too good for whatever. But the outcome is a heartbreak. There will be a separation. Whatever this person comes in and says, that's it. There, it, This is done. Like, it's done. Okay. I kid you not with this wild card. This is done. Okay. It's done. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. Taurus, you, heavy. Okay. It's done. Some secrets are about to be revealed. Okay. <laughs> And you're going to go after this new opportunity. You're going to be able to move forward and just close out what it is that you have with this individual. Y'all not even on the same page. Y'all energy is not even look at that, going towards something new. After this heartbreak is something new. It is your victory and success. When you add that ace of pentacles to this obstacle and challenge you can get over, it is your own victory. But do not block somebody else's victory because you want to hold on to them because you feel like you should be there or I been I was here first or you know I did that. No, don't do that. Be thankful for what it is that you have and be confident that you can have better. Believe in yourself. Okay, show the world the real you, Taurus. All right. So spirit, as we close out for our Taurus here, what's the final message? We'll see if you uh, see if you get one. That was enough because I don't even know where that other card went. Oh Lord, jeez. Y'all play games. So you got a time to give rather than take. Set this person free and stop trying to hold on to them, like seriously, because that's what it feels like. It's like you're holding on to something that you know you don't want, and it's time to let it go. Could be done with a Virgo, okay? But be bold and make the first move with this cardinal energy here, okay? And that will be our lovely Cancerians, our Libras, our, bear with me, our Capricorns, and who we missing for our fire? Our Aries? Yes, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, and whoever else I just said. Y'all heard me, Libra. But, um, yeah, you need to be bold and make the first move, okay? Like, just come from a place of love, say what it is, because it, hmm, hmm. this person come in and say what they got to say and you try to bite back, I be cautious, okay? If you want to be bold and make that first move, okay? Confidence is your key to success, new moon and Leo. And we talked about the confidence here, but still doing it with grace, okay? You know, Queen of Cups energy. You are good enough, full moon and Virgo, so you definitely could be messing with somebody who has strong Virgo placements, Virgo moon even, okay? Or this could even be you. And you have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon and Libra, okay? Like I said, in Libra, we got Libra on this table pretty heavy. But like I said, it's time for something new here. Time to let this go. It is. Don't block their blessings because you're blocking your own. Be thankful for the lesson and be gone because you want something new anyway. Okay? So, yes, Taurus, that has been your message. Uh, I know you know. I know you guys know what to do with this. So, if you need to book a reading, I'm here for it. All the information is listed below. And until the next time we speak, peace out.